everyone, welcome to the Wednesday edition of the DC Today. I am probably gonna be keeping it kind of short today because there's not a whole lot to report on, but you want a little market summary and I wanna cover a couple of the highlights of the day for you uh, before I go to my next meeting. The Dow ended up 171 points. It was about 43 basis points to the upside. The S&P was up 57 basis points. The NASDAQ 75 as technology and uh, communication services were leading sectors on the day. Uh, the worst sector on the day was energy, down 1%. Oil prices themselves were down about a dollar or, or so, about one and a quarter percent. Um, and, and the bond market was pretty well flat. You had a little bit of gains as yields in the shorter end of the curve came down. And then at the longer end, like the 10 year, the yield was up one basis point. So tiny bit of, of uh, spread widening uh, on the curve. The um, SEC thing that I t talked about yesterday, they did it today announcing that they have approved the ETF that they had uh, fake announced yesterday and then said it wasn't their announcement. And then it turns out today it is true. And so either way, a Bitcoin ETF has been approved and uh, Bitcoin is is down several thousand dollars from wh when the announcement came, but um, nevertheless, at least now the SEC is out, and I, I couldn't begin to explain to you what happened. The big news, though, I guess, is for tomorrow is the CPI report for December will come at five thirty in the morning, and um, we'll kind of see how the bond market responds. We'll see how Fed market expectations respond, uh, and of course, the stock market. And, you know, the sentiment, the media, the traders, um, all those things, it, it could potentially lead to a sell-off. It could potentially lead to rally, and it may do nothing. But as one of the points I made in our white paper we put out on Monday, I expect enhanced volatility around a lot of these short-term announcements. And if there's a lot of noise tomorrow, then that would be in line with that expectation. But I also don't see any reason that whatever the announcement is, it would be a sustainable noise. I think it's all you know, just very much that noise. Um, the, but, you know, our expectations on CPI are, I think we're pretty clear. We believe it will continue to be reasonably flat levels of year over year inflation with the shelter side going lower um, in the way that it's measured. In other words, catching up to the reality on the ground about, about rent prices and owner's equivalent rent and therefore putting downward pressure in the measured inflation. That's our, our house thesis and I'm sticking to it, uh, especially over the months to come. So that's all we have for you today. I do um, welcome you to send any questions you have, particularly feedback you may have had from the white paper, questions at thebonsongroup.com, our year in review, our year ahead forecast. We're here for you if you have any questions. And in the meantime, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And thank you for reading the DC Today. And feel free to check out our YouTube page today, uh, my clip with Varney on Fox Business this morning. Uh, I think that gets you up to speed on where we are. Thanks so much.